Hey there, YouTube. Today, we're gonna do an unboxing. You've been asking for it, and my Uncle Vito has sent something over for us to take a look at and use. We're gonna give you a first impression. We wanna give you our thoughts. If you're new to the channel, you might not know that VCG Construction stands for Very Cool Guy Construction. It also stands for The Very Cool Gang. If you're new to the channel, what I want you to do is go on down to that comment section and introduce yourself. Say, hey, I'm new to the channel. Can we be friends? Okay, start a conversation. Right after you're done doing that, I want you to watch this intro. Boom! Well, now that you all introduced yourselves and everybody said hello, let's get this box open. It says, thank you, from Vito Pro Pack. A lot of people have been saying, hey Vince, we know you've done a video on what's inside your tool bag. I'll link this video here. We like that tool bag, but people are like, listen, you gotta check out Vito. And I think to myself, like I had an Uncle Vito, I had a cousin Vito, you know what I mean? I went to school with guys named Vito. I probably would love Vito's Pro Packs. So we decided to hit up Vito, they decided to send us one of their pro packs. This one is it is from the contractor line because we're a contractor. So they were like, you know what will come in handy? Mr. VCG contractor, a contractor bag. So it is the professional tool bag. Okay? It is model. X, X, L, F. So it's like X, X, L, it's extra, extra. Yo, if you wanted a little extra, this is even more extra. This is extra, extra L. So, I'm excited about it. Listen, it's a big box. You told me it is kind of long. Ooh, I'm really want to get this thing open. Give my first impressions. What we'll do is we'll just do an unboxing and a, like an overall thoughts on the bag, okay? And then what we'll do is we're gonna outfit this bag. Let me tell you, the first word that comes to mind just peering into this box is handsome. This bag is handsome. I mean like, like, like Kevin Costner. In, in the bodyguard hands. I mean, and if you haven't seen Kevin Costner in the bodyguard, you don't believe how handsome he is in that. Once you see this bag, you're gonna know what I'm talking about. Handsome. The first thing that caught my eye was the size of the zippers on this bag, okay? This is the XXLF from Vito Pro Pack tool bags that work. I mean, look at that. Even their label, look how nice the stitching is in there. I really appreciate my Uncle Vito. He's not really my uncle, but I really appreciate Vito Pro Packs sending this bag over for us to take a look at. So key features, I mean, this thing is beautiful. 47 vertically tiered pockets, seven zippered pockets, electrical tape strap, because electrical tape comes in so handy, so many things. And quite frankly, like I cut my hand the other day. You get a Band-Aid? Yeah, we get the contractor's Band-Aid. It's called electrical tape. Waterproof base, three millimeter polypropylene. It's a mouthful. Padded shoulder strap, YKK interlocking zippers. And I gotta tell you, that was one of the first things that caught my eye. Just the size of these zippers, look at them. What is also is great about this is that it seems that Vito was able to have YKK put their, their logo on the zippers, which is a nice touch, really top of the line. Over molded ergonomic grip 
outside mounted stainless tape clip. I love that, look at this. Once again, with, with their logo on it. Soft side version of Carpenter's wooden toolbox. So this is a soft, they, when they made this, they envisioned a wooden, an old style wooden Carpenter's toolbox when they designed this. S stores longer, longer tools, hand saws, framing squares, pry bars, etc. In one bay and smaller hand tools in the other bay. This bag holds it all. The dimensions of this bag are 17 inches high by 25.5 or 25 and a half inches wide by 9.5 or 9 and a half inches deep. Five year, zero downtime warranty. I mean, even their, even their information is like, look at this, this is, this is, this is XXL heavy duty. Vito Pro Pack tool bags are built to stand up to their rigors of professional use. Vito Pro Pack warrants this merchandise, its merchandise will be free from defects in material workmanship for a period of five years after retail purchase. Exclusive of ordinary wear and tear. With Vito Pro Pack Zero Downtime Warranty, you will be sent a replacement. Listen to this. This is amazing. You will be sent a replacement tool bag to use while your defective tool bag is repaired or replaced. This warranty does not cover damage resulting from abuse or neglect. Vito Pro Pack's obligation from this warranty is limited at its option to repairing or replacing the merchandise. So, sounds pretty doggone awesome. Boom. That's where your, your tape measure, that's where your tape measure would ride. Okay, instead of this bag opening up here, okay, this is just a, just the top handle, like that wooden carpenter's box would be. Okay, these sides open up, and you can see that this is feels like very sturdy, maybe fiberglass reinforced nylon. Okay, it's riveted into it's riveted into the fabric. Got a nice rubber grip. Vito Pro Pack at the top here. I like that. It's a nice sturdy tape measure hook. Now. Let's get the bag open. Whoa. Okay. Here's your, your, your padded shoulder strap. Here's your five year zero down warranty. Activate your five year warranty, receive new product updates, get a free, a free bottle wrench. Yo, pretty cool. in a plastic bag. I gotta tell you, I'm always like fascinated with outfitting. Like I'm like, oh man, I wonder what goes in here. I wonder what goes in here. There's a little, it's riveted down to the base. It looks like a, 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 a loop here. I'd like to know what goes in there. The other good thing is, is that the bag inside here seems to be reinforced for, I guess for, Things like saws, they said saws go in here, okay? It won't puncture the, the nylon. So we have a zipper compartment in here to wrangle smaller items. I always, I'll assume that this pouch, it looks like it's for iPro. Whoa, look. And it's not, there's no, there's no button here. It's a magnetic latch. So I will assume that that is for iPro. It's, it's a little, it's got a little reinforcing to it. Okay, so you could get your iPro in there. It's not as likely to get crushed. Then we have a couple, two little compartments here for stuff like screwdrivers, okay, or, or drives for your drill. Once we close this up, we have two more 
compartments, very small compartments here. You know, sometimes I like to look at the literature. This way I know, like I said, what every compartment is for. This compartment's a little bit bigger here. Just flip it around. Same thing on this side. Really nice stitching. Now this should be the side that has the, the down compartments for organization. That's nice. So up top here, we have two compartments on this side for maybe smaller bits and such. But in the bag, I kind of like how you have two compartments, one compartment, one large compartment, and then small organization compartments down here for screwdrivers and such. You know, larger tools go in here. We, if we wanted to, we could just use this as a guide for how, how you would outfit it. strap on there. This is your framing square sock. So you stick it in here and then stick it down in the, into a compartment here. I mean, if, if you were like going to ride the subway, you know, a lot of, a lot of guys in construction um, in New York and even in Center City, Philadelphia, they take public transportation into Center City to, to go to work in the high rises. A lot of times they, they need to, to pack their tools. You know, if you had a, a, a hard, a hard box type system, it, it might be a little tougher to get in and out of the subway, the terminals, onto a bus. You know, this soft side case it has a strap. Okay, you, it could ride just like this with you. I mean, even like towards the back. Okay, you could kind of carry it with you, and then you know, be careful. You're not gonna want, you're not gonna want to bump into somebody that's next to you. But it's it's a good solution for for not only you know not only a guy that needs to organize his truck to and from you know from the truck, but maybe a person that's going to use this in a public transportation type situation, I think this, this really would shine. This really would shine. Now, the first thing I kind of looked at, I'm like, how can we, how can we secure our tools in a bag like this? Well, this, this is what I, I found. They're, they're zippers have a spot for uh, maybe a small padlock. But I think what I would prefer to do, and is this gonna keep our bag like, ah, oh, it's unbelievable, you're never gonna be able to break into it. No, this, is, this would keep like somebody on your job site from pry, you know, prying, going into your bag and maybe taking something out you know, forgetting that they took it out and walking away with it. They need to get your permission to get into the bag because you'd be able to maybe get a padlock like this master, okay? And then come up through this D-ring here and then boom, it's all locked together. You know, can they get maybe in here? I mean, I, you know, I, I guess, but you know, they're gonna have a tougher time pillaging your bag. And quite frankly, if you keep stuff locked up, you know, it, it, especially on a job site, it, it causes for less friction. Something goes missing, you know, you know your bag's locked up. You can't, you know, maybe blame somebody. You know, you, you probably misplaced it. So that's why I like to keep things locked up. 
there's a solution for you to do it. I'm gonna tell you, I think that the build quality of this bag looks great. Once again though, you know, because of the five year zero downtime warranty, if there's ever a problem with this bag, they're gonna send you another bag to use Make sure you stay up and running. And then they're gonna either repair or replace this bag. So it looks really well built. I'll tell you this much, once you laid in this bag down, you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be a real asset to have this this shoulder this shoulder strap because so I could I could see this being a, a real load. I mean this is the XXL so you're gonna be able to put a ton a ton of tools in here. So I think this is absolutely beautiful. I'm excited to put it to, to work and uh, see how see how it does. I have the perfect I think I have the perfect uh, scenario for this bag. And uh, I think we're going to do some long-term testing. What we could do is we're going to do a follow-up video to show how, how the bag's been outfitted. And then uh, over some time, we'll see how it does. If you like this video, make sure you smash that like button. If you like our content, like our channel, and like our style, you love seeing new stuff on the market or things that would make you more effective at the job site or getting to and from the job site. Get subscribed. If you know somebody that's looking for an organization solution, share this video with them. But as always, thanks a lot. Have a great day. And we'll see you on the next one. I think we're going to let Nick use this while he goes through his HVAC score as a way to organize his tools. We're going to see how Nick outfits this bag and uh, we're gonna see how 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 it handles how it handles the rigors of HVAC. Nick, what do you think about that? I think it's great. You think it's a great idea. Sure. Cool. Appreciate it. Peace, everybody. So I, I will assume, right? We're gonna come out this. We're gonna come out this end. Okay. And I think that this just slide back here. Pretty cool. Pretty thoughtful, right? Look at that. You getting this in here? See that? This piece of nylon holds your square in place. Pretty cool. This way, it could stick out here. It doesn't need to increase the size of the bag. You follow? You know, you just have a, you have a, it's a little bit sticking out. And, you know, it's not much higher than the top of the handle. Okay? Put it in the back there, it won't get in the way of your arm. Okay? Pretty cool. I like that. You keep your handle here, tape measure, so it doesn't pop off. Is it over? I know what you're thinking. The video can't be over yet. I mean, there's gotta be more, right Vince? Well, there is more. We're gonna show you how you can win $500 worth of tools if you enter our contest by clicking the video over here. When you're done doing that, you can click the video down here for some more entertainment or click the video up here. If you love our content, love our channel, and love our style, make sure you get subscribed over there. Everybody, have a great day.